A Suncoast Research Institute is ramping up its effort to help veterans suffering from Gulf War illness. ABC 7's Alex Redman has more. Alex. Thanks, Haley. For decades, soldiers of the Gulf War were told no single cause except stress could explain complaints, including headaches, dizziness, fatigue, and joint pain. Now, more than 175,000 veterans live with symptoms of what's known as Gulf War illness, and the Roskam Institute wants to help change that. It is more than 20 years since Gulf War veterans were exposed to a myriad of chemicals and environmental hazards, and many preventions put in place to protect ended up causing harm. They were given this anti-nerve agent called periostigmine bromide. At the same time, they were using um, a lot of pesticides to protect themselves against, you know, insect bites and things like that. Dr. Leila Abdullah of the Ross Camp Institute in Manatee County says the prophylactic intended to protect them from sarin, soman, and VX gases, pesticides, and other preventatives were given in excess. When they came back, um, they started experiencing all these symptoms like pain, fatigue, cognitive impairment. There was no particular name for the illness affecting veterans of Desert Shield, Desert Storm. Gulf War illness is one of these diseases that uh, is not easy to measure. You can't do an x-ray and say you have Gulf War illness. Abdullah says Roskamp works on identifying why symptoms linger for decades. We used combination of these chemicals that the Gulf War veterans were exposed to in order to develop a mouse model so that we can find um, treatments using those models. Now, Roskamp researchers are one step closer to being able to help people suffering Gulf Coast illness by working with others, combining the clinical end with basic science information that can help. We have already collaborated for collecting samples from the VA in Boston and the Bronx VA, and we're hoping to start work studying and capturing samples from the, from the southwest uh, Florida area. The study involves irregularities in lipids and fats. And these will be biomarkers that will hopefully be able to be used to diagnose and maybe also find certain aspects of treatment for Gulf War illness. The goal of the Ross Camp Institute is to become a resource center for veterans suffering from Gulf War illness. And Alex, when will they start these clinical trials in case people want to take part here on the Sun Coast? Well, they explained that a lot of red tape is involved and they're really trying to move forward, but they're hoping for around August. So that is the hope. And of course, it will be available to veterans here. And they said if people want to find out, they can actually call up. They can call the Ross Camp Institute or, of course, look to us online, mysuncoast.com. All right. Thank you, Alex.